All right, everybody. Welcome back to another Minecraft guide video. What are we doing in this one? Well, someone asked me for a guide on how to import a uh, Reteraforged preset. Yes. So, uh, this is related to my other video, which was for the in-depth step-by-step guide on Reteraforged and the Distant Horizons for 1.20.4. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually do this for both the normal Minecraft and for the simply optimized pack. So, once you enter Minecraft, uh, I'm gonna start with the 1.20.2 version of the game, not the 1.20.4, okay? Uh, this is the, you know, let me just close it, okay? This is the Ritara Forced simply optimized pack, which we have set up in the other video, which I have gone ahead and set up again for this video specifically so what you want to do is you open up the Ritara Forged uh, simply optimized pack or you open up the normal minecraft with your Ritara Forged installed okay then you open single player create new world now you click on more you got data packs okay you open pack folder okay and there's a reason for that okay we have this okay this is your pack your data pack folder for the simply optimized okay you're gonna need this now you go back to world you should keep this on default okay default world world type Customize. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to make an actual preset, because if you open this, uh, you got 200 lines of code. So I'm not going to show you guys how to actually make the preset itself. <laughs> I'm showing you guys how to import a preset. So let's close that. Now, if you open preset folder and you have a preset, a JSON file, you could just add it here and you would be done. Okay, it's going to show up here. Now, if you do not have a JSON file. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering about the music, this is a a uh, soundtrack for a dungeon called Hellzone in my mod for uh, Tale of Immortal. It's called, uh, well, Thunderlord's Legacy. <laughs> anyway, that was the song, the soundtrack, yes. Uh, again. If you don't have a preset already created, well, first of all, I'm not going to show you guys how to actually create a preset because it's time consuming. What I'm going to show you guys, though, is how to add a data pack, okay? Because, well, if you don't download an already made preset, you would want to make a preset yourself. So, this is a little bit more, more complicated because... You would be taking one of these. Okay, I'm going to take the beautiful one, for example. You would export it as a data pack. You would open export folder. Now, this is your Ritera Forged exports in the Simply Optimized or your Minecraft folder. Okay, it's going to go into config Ritera Forged exports. You would grab this real quick and I'm going to show you guys what you do from a normal Minecraft perspective. If you are on default Minecraft, not a simply optimized mod pack, you would go into data packs and you would just put it here. Now, because this is the simply optimized da uh, data packs folder, it's not going to work. Uh, you would copy slash cut this. And remember we opened that uh, temp folder? I'm gonna go open it again. You go into more, data packs, open pack folder. Okay, the temp for uh, the data packs is here. This is your temp folder for the simply optimized uh, collection from Modrint. Okay, I'm specifying from Modrint. The default Minecraft is, well, you're, you'd install things as you would normally. 
And that's how you get your thing, okay? It is here. Read that off Force Preset World. Okay? Now, technically, and I'm assuming this would work, so I'm gonna do it. Uh, if I go back and I export this as a data pack, which I have not done before, by the way, technically this should work for the uh, 124 version of the game. Let me open export folder. There we go. I'm, uh, I'm going to close this. I'm going to enter the Distant Horizons folder. Er, uh, not folder. I would enter the, the game itself. For whatever reason, I have two of these. Uh, maybe because of the data pack. Unsure. Anyway. So you open the 124 version. Let me make sure OBS is still recording. Please. Come on. Come on, Minecraft. Alright. For whatever reason, this is not... Uh, this is not windowed. So let me fix that. There we go. Just because it's fucking up with OBS. There we go. So. Again. This is the simply optimized pack for the Ritera Forged, okay? The initial one. You do remember we had both, okay? We had the Ritera Forged one for 1.20.2 and the Distant Horizons pack. Now, from the dis from the Ritera Forged pack, you would take this one and In the Distant Horizons uh, launcher, you would go to Create World, More, this music is overlapping and it's pissing me off, I'm sorry. Okay, so, More, Data Packs, Open Pack Folder, again, you're gonna get a separate temporary folder, and you would paste this here. And it's saying it's for an older version of Minecraft and that it is incompatible. Um, I'm pretty sure it should still work. Okay. So, let me just test it real quick. Again, you cannot customize. Because it's gonna crash. <laughs> but technically, since we have the data pack loaded in... It should technically work, okay? Now what I'm also gonna do, uh, since I have Distant Horizons already installed, is I'm gonna stop Distant Horizons real quick. Let me disable this. Okay. Data pack. Test. Ritera forged. Uh, whoops. I cancelled. I'm sorry. Okay. So, you, you keep world to default. Okay? And then you create world. Now, technically, this should work because the data pack is installed. And it's been selected. Yeah. Let me just go straight into Spectator. Or not. I, I, I forgot. How do you enter Spectator mode in, in Minecraft? <laughs> it's been a while. Oi, oi, oi. I actually forgot. Anyway. It, it should be working. I'm just gonna run around for a little bit. Oh my god. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna run around for a little bit, but this should be working. Now, because this is a different seed, uh, it's gonna look a little bit different. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. But it is what it is. 
it will look different because uh, it's not the the same seed okay and uh, we got the data pack installed and uh, hopefully this works on 124 that said it it may or may not so i am sorry if this doesn't work for you even though it should because you're already kind of seeing it just a little bit we don't have the the massive humongous mountains but we do got something and i do believe this is not uh, really default uh, again if you're wondering what the uh, resource pack i'm using it's the x64 uh tectonic one no not tectonic i'm sorry uh, the x64 coven yeah this is working Okay, so it's working to some degree. Okay. But again, I do have Tectonic and all the others in the 1.20.4 version. So it is, if this ends up looking different for you, it's because of that. <laughs> that said, this was the guide on how to, well, import a preset in Ritera Forged for Simply Optimized and for default Minecraft. Again, if you don't have an actually, uh, well, set up preset, a JSON file, you would have a data pack instead. So, yeah. If it's just a, uh, a JSON file, that's really easy. Let me just save and quit the title. If it's just JSON file, you just go into customize. Uh, whoops. Excuse me, we can do that on the 1.20.4 version. I forgot. Okay. You just go into customize, open a preset folder, and you drop it right here. That's really all you gotta do. Uh, if you want some extra things... So, for example... Uh, Terraforce Default Legacy... We export that as a data pack. Now again, I have told you that you go into these folders and you got a lot of stuff. Okay? Uh, th there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff you would have to edit. Okay? But, yeah. This is how you would make your own. And you can just literally make it a single preset file. And put it into the presets folder. But again, you would have to do something similar to this. So it is what it is. I hope you guys, well, learned how to actually import the preset. Again, this was a guide on how to import a preset. Now, not a guide on how to create a preset for uh, Ritera Forced. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you let me know if you need any guidance on anything else except creating an actual preset. <laughs> because it's really time consuming. And I am not sure I can do that in a single video that is, well, below 30 minutes. Later.